Welcome to this video on using the performance management module in Sage HR. Let's start by learning how to link employees to the competencies created. To link competencies to a position within a team, select competencies from the menu on the left. Select professional. Click on the competencies button. Select which competencies you want linked to that position, then click save. This will update the employee data for the employee occupying this position. Let's check the competency we just selected. Go to the employee profile. Click competencies. Select professional. Note the financial reporting competency we just added from the competencies screen. To add a new competency, click on add competency. Select the competency and click save. After selecting competencies, you can use them to collate feedback prior to the one-to-ones. Let's move on to goals. The menu at the top allows you to edit the goals for your employees if you are a manager, add your personal goals, admin, team or company goals as well as quarterly progress. Click Add Goal. You have the choice of creating company goals, team goals, personal goals or your employee goals. In this example, we are adding a personal goal. Enter a goal name, a description, choose the review date or period for evaluation of the goal, and choose whether to link the goal with another team or company goal. Next you can choose to repeat the goal, and whether the goal is visible to the rest of the company or not. Once you have completed the required information about your goal, click Continue. Add in a key result if you wish and choose whether you would like to include a target range to track progress of the goal. Click here to add another key result. Click Create Goal. Goal progress can be tracked in the one-to-one -one meetings. From the menu on the left, click one-to-one. -one. This screen displays the list of employees, which team they belong to and if their one-to-one -one is scheduled, a waiting sign off or completed at the top select book a one-to-one -one. specify the employee that this is for then click next select to use a template if you have created one you may also edit the title and add in a description choose the date and time for this meeting you can also specify a location click next here you can add additional questions for review. Click the plus button to add more questions. Next, select the manager who will review the questions. Once complete, click next. A summary screen confirms the information entered and that an email will be sent to their manager. Click confirm. For the manager, the one-to-one -one will show in the future tab. The arranged one-to-ones have a prepare button. This opens the review page of the one-to-one. -one. Here you can open the performance review, rate and give feedback to the employee on each question added in the one-to-one -one meeting. You view current goals, add in future goals, and Employees and managers can enter notes. Both parties will have to sign off the one-to-one -one meeting to make this a locked, read-only document. The manager will need to go first, clicking sign off. An email and task prompt will be sent to the employee to complete these actions. Click complete sign off. From an employee's perspective, this can be actioned by accessing my profile on one-to-one, -one, awaiting sign-off, and selecting sign-off from there. Click Complete Sign-off to finalize the one-to-one. -one. Once signed off by both managers and employees, this is now a completed task and it will move to the completed section. Let's move on to surveys. 
In this example we are creating a survey for an office party. Let's begin by creating the categories for the questions. Click on your name, then select settings. Under performance, choose surveys. Click add category. Enter a title and a description if you wish. Click save. Repeat this process for as many categories as you wish to create. Once you have created the required categories, from the main menu on the left, click Surveys. To create a new survey, click Add New. Enter a survey title and a message to your employees. You have the option of using the default Open Questions option or, you can choose the category you created. Click on Add Category. Select your category from the drop down and click Add Category. Now you can give the category a title and add information in the description. Choose your answer format and capture the applicable answers. You can also decide if you want to allow the employees to comment. To add another category for a second question, repeat the same process. Click the delete icon to remove the open question category as we won't be using it for this survey. When you are happy with your survey questions, save changes. Click send out, choose who it should go to, then click next and send. The system is also pre-populated with engagement surveys. When you select create a new survey, a list of engagement survey templates will display for you to choose from. You can also create a pulse survey which are short, simple surveys that can be set up to go out to employees automatically to track feedback over time. Completing the survey can be done easily from the task widget. Back on the survey screen, the survey can be viewed under Active. Click on the survey title. Here you can view the stats on the survey. There is also a series of ways for you to view the results. The next feature we will be looking at in performance management is the quick feedback option. On the right next to quick feedback, click on the speech bubble icon. You have the option here to give feedback or to ask for it. To give feedback, select the employee. Select the category. Then type in your comment or upload an attachment if you need to. Under Advanced Options, you are able to select who this feedback is from. When you are ready, click Submit. To ask for feedback, click on Ask. Enter the question you would like to ask, then select the employee you want to send this to, and then click Submit. The feedback you give will appear in the Quick Feedback section on the Employees Dashboard. Click on the image to open the feedback. Type in your response. Then click Add. When you ask for feedback, it will appear on the employee profile under My Tasks. To answer the feedback question, click on Give Feedback. Enter the feedback response, then click Submit. To access the responses to the feedback, from the dashboard, on the top right, click on your name, then select my profile. Click feedback from the menu on the left. Both quick feedback given and asked will display. The last feature we will be looking at in performance management is 360 feedback. To create a feedback form, from the menu on the left, click 360 feedback, then click create 360 feedback form. Enter a title for the feedback form and a message to the employee if you wish. Next you can amend general settings such as, configuring your star ratings, you can choose to customize the labels. And, if you want to use names instead of numbers for a rating. You can choose to receive employee feedback anonymously, require approval from direct manager for feedback nomination allow to skip a question, 
and you can also enable multiple language support. The system also has an email template you can customize to send out to the employee you are requesting feedback from. To add a competency, click on the Add Competency button. Choose the competency you want feedback on. Add in a title and the feedback question. Choose between a star rating, a comment only field or the multiple choice option. If you wish to add a logic jump, click here. Once you have added all competencies you would like feedback on, click Save Changes. To preview the feedback form, click here. When you are happy, click Send Out. On this screen you will need to choose who is getting reviewed. Once you have made your selection, click Continue. Here you will need to select who is the one giving the feedback. You can choose between specific people or roles and nominated by the employee. Click Send. The survey now moves from draft to active. In this case the employee's direct manager has been asked to complete the feedback which appears under their tasks. To complete as the reviewer, click on Give Feedback. To begin, click Start then answer the feedback questions. If you have chose to label the rating, hovering over each star will display the label. Click Finish, then, click Close. To release the feedback to the employee, navigate to the Feedback section. Click on the Share icon. Select the employee, then click Share Report. When viewing as the employee, under Feedback, click on the Report icon to display the feedback. Thank you for watching.